Hey everyone, it's Nick. Today we want to get some inspiration from this beautiful house. Yay! So let's check it out from the outside first and then we'll move on to the inside. And I'm gonna explain to you some more steps in which you can get inspired and maybe get some tips and tricks to build your own houses more beautifully. I guess that's a word. Yeah, so we've got a little bit of a path going right here through a nice little forest with some large trees that you can simply grow by uh, putting some stone next to the sapling so the tree will grow large and big and not so small like this one but this one is relatively okay I mean small like this one right there for example you don't want these trees you want the nice and big ones and this tree is standing right next to our a uh, beautiful beautiful roof which we've outlined with some stone brick and this right here is oak wood and the nice chimney of course which has some fire in it and that serves a reason which I'm gonna get to in just a moment but first let's go down here we've got a nice window which you can just look out I really like this uh, triangle shape that is just um, for the window and supporting that are also some more stone brick stairs also some cobblestone walls which I've never seen like this and I just thought man let's place them there to create some structure I also put some down here next to the oak wood logs and there's some flower pots in front of the windows here all right, that concludes pretty much the outside. Uh, some more trapdoors right there. And here for the lamp, I wasn't quite sure. And I just used the jack-o'-lantern with some trapdoors on top uh, or on the side of it. And if we remove these, that also creates quite an interesting look if you come from this side. I mean, you could just leave it like that, but I thought trapdoors would do the job even better because we have trapdoors on this building as well, and it's oak wood, just like the fence that's supporting the lamp, so I thought it might look quite cool. Alright, let's not ramble on and get inside of things. So we can see this oak wood door, I think this is the best one fitting with um, stone brick and cobblestone and all this rustic uh, stuff, so... I prefer using these, the original ones, rather than the new ones. And this is our living room. We can see that there's a chimney right there, which I'm gonna get to in a second, as well as the uh, chimney right there. This is a fireplace. And um, here we just got a nice little jukebox with a table where we can do stuff like put our drinks down or something and dance to the nice music. And here we've got a couch, a cozy blanket down there, or maybe a carpet, yeah. And here is our fire. I couldn't put down um, original or real fire because it would burn down this whole thing. I've had that happen once and then I came up with this orange glass pane and then a lamp underneath it. That works just as well and it doesn't look too fake. At night it looks pretty cool and I thought maybe you can hook up some redstone to this to make it flicker randomly but I didn't want to get too carried away and instead went on with the entire house and now we can um, talk about the fire which is up there at the chimney obviously this is blocking the chimney but it's just to create an illusion which I think works pretty great and let's imagine there was fire down there the smoke would get up and that's why I have fire up here you can see some particles which are going up here and I think that just looks pretty nice you don't see the particles from down uh, down here because it's only generating particles in a 16 by 16 radius about the, around the player but still if you're up here on the roof for some reason you can see that there's some smoke coming out of there I think that's a nice alternative to having cobwebs just sticking out of your chimney which don't really look good on this house because it's too artificial all right, we got a nice seating area right here with a piston that is powered and then a carpet on top of it. I think that's a nice table design and some dark oak stairs around it um, that you can use as seats. Here we got our nice little kitchen with a big, big working space and then our oven right here with a detector rail on top. So you can put pots on top of this and I think um, if we grab a flower pot, it even has the same width as 
as this cooking field and you could put this on there if it was possible obviously but you can just place some in, in there and just leave them empty and then it might look like pots nice idea right here we got our fridge you might hook up a button to it like a stone button or something and then put a dispenser behind here or down there because you cannot see it down there because it's blocked from almost all the sides and then power it like that and it will dispense some food Right next on the fridge we have got our sink and our water which is coming out of there. Nothing too fancy, this is a trip wire hook which I thought might also look good. Alright, that concludes everything downstairs, glowstone for lighting and let's go upstairs to this nice and fancy walkway. We've also got a rug right here, you can hide some glowstone underneath there. That is also great for lighting up the place if you don't want mobs in your house or want to place down ugly torches which I don't think you want to and here we got our nice stairway. I really like this with the fences so it's like a railing so you don't fall down when you're up here. It's really nice just like in real life. Then we have a nice little uh, plant right here on a table which I just um, yeah decorated with some orange glass panes in item frames. I thought that might look cool because we've also got orange all around here and here we can see some of the trees that are blocking our view but it's really nice and it shows you that you may have to do some gardening work outside. And <laughs> our plants right there as well, some fern and a rose or a poppy, that's what it's called right now, um, will decorate everything. Alright, here's our master bedroom. It's nighttime, so we can sleep. We um, have also got a nice head, um, a wither skeleton skull, and another poppy next to us. And that makes for a good sleeping space, I guess. Alright, when you're done sleeping, you can just get onto your desk, which is right here, and work on your computer. Maybe you want to play some paintings right here, it's like some one by one paintings and that might look like a computer and we've got some drawers right there and some more right here and this is our TV area, we've got a nice comfy carpet here as well just like down there at the fireplace and our TV, some books down there and that concludes this area as well, we can go up these ladders after we looked out of the window and there's also some gardening work to be done and we have a nice little pond right there as well. Alright, let's go up. Okay, up here we got a nice um, storage area. We can also look out of the windows once again and it's just random, just some chests where you can put stuff in. A birch sapling which I thought might look cool if it's winter outside. You can see the snow is slowly incoming here. Um, you might want to store your plants inside so they don't die outside and that's why I have it up here. And some trap chest and some normal chest uh, next to each other so they don't link up. That might be a little bit more resource intensive but it will look good. And you can uh, store separate things in there. It, uh, it isn't like a real large chest. We've also got a nice anvil right here. Some more chests and a chanting and a, uh, uh, an enchanting table for your enchanting needs and of course a nice armor stand. Everything is nice up here, isn't it? And we can look out of the window once more. Alright, I'm not gonna be doing a tutorial on this house. Instead I'm gonna try to put a download link into the description. It's gonna be on my website www.niklosbarko.weebly.com and you can check it out there on the downloads page and you can check this world out for yourself and then create some awesome buildings with the inspiration of this house. Alright, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and my Minecraft is really laggy right now. I'm sorry about that, but there's nothing I can do. Um, check out the other videos that are linked at the end of this one, click on them if you're on a mobile device, click the links in the description and make sure to subscribe. Until next time, take care, goodbye.